Hello and welcome back to the part two of uh, hash map implementation. Uh, this is a, something new that I started. Uh, I will be making videos on data structures. Uh, the first one that we started was hash map implementation. So the last time, uh, what we did last time was we had we created a hash table class. We had a values array of you know, integers and then we wrote three functions, basically hash function and then there was put and get and we saw what the problem was with it so uh, if i can explain it here what what we did was first we inserted one as a key and the, uh, one integer as uh, the value then we tried to insert two and then we tried to insert three like this so the first thing that we did was insert one if i provide one as a key i get the index in return from my hash function which is a uh, uh, the output my of my hash function as three, and I put that three first of all initially these are all null. Uh, on that three, I put the value one here. Then I try to put two or uh, with this key. I provide this key to my hash function. It gives me three uh, as an output for array index again. And what what it does is then it replaces the, the previous one with a two. Uh, and then I put three. I give it the uh, I give my hash function uh, key as three as a string. It gives me an index of five, and I put three here. So the problem was when I tried to put one, I did I I I can put one. When I try to put two, I can still put two in here. But the problem was I lost my data so that was previously on this index. So why? Because uh, my hash function gave me the same index for two different keys. And that is the problem where, uh, that we call collisions. <clears throat> this is the problem of collisions. Uh, it happens when you have two different keys, but both of them give the same address to you. So how can we be uh, like, what is the workaround for this? There are several things that we can do. The first one, of course, is to modify our hash function. But uh, I'm not going to do that in my in this video. So what I'm going to do is try something else which is separate chaining with linked lists so what this is uh, basically here what we have currently is a value uh, and uh, an array of integers right and we're initializing it whenever we make an object of our hash table class instead of having an uh, array of integers here what we want what we need is some kind of uh, data structure that can hold uh, values that were previously available on that spot so for that we will be using linked lists uh, instead of having an array of integers we will be having an array of linked lists now so uh, and i'll not be using the linked list that is already available in java we'll just write our own uh, small class which will be uh, a node and every node will have three things first it will have a key the second it will have a value as an integer and the third thing is a node that it is pointing to that is after it and whenever we initialize our node what we what i will be getting i will be getting a key and a value right and i will just sorry uh, string k int and v we can use this dot but uh, let's keep things simple so we will initialize our key with k and we will initialize our value with v and whenever we initialize our node we will say that this points to nothing at the moment so we will just say next equal to null whenever we initialize a new node right so what do we need to do now in our hash table class we need to change our put function like this uh, if i can show you like this so this is this is what's the structure of our node right uh, what with what initially they are or they will all be null right there will be nothing inside it so what are we going to do now first for example i want to put one I provide one to my hash function. It gave me three as an index. So I come here. I put key as one. One was the key, and value was one as an integer. And next was initially null, nothing, right? And when I put two, I gave I I got the same index, right? So what I am I want to do now? I don't want to put it right here. I will I will first check whether or not these these uh, this there is a null value here or there is a node. So initially, there, 
there was nothing but uh, since we have put a node here i we can say we can check whether or not this is a node if we see that there, this is a node what we will see what we will do is we'll make create a new node we'll create a new node and save the our key which is two save the value which is two and uh, the next will be null when you initialize our node and then we'll make the previous node that was already on this uh, index to point to our new node which will be two like this and when i try to put like if i try if i put eight here so what will happen it gave me an, an index of five right i can put eight as key here eight as a value here and it will be pointing to nothing at the moment and then if i try to put seven here I get the same index so I'll have to make a new node put it here uh, give it the new values and keys key and value and then I'll make the previously existing uh, I misspelled it previously existing node to point to our new node which is 7 so this way we can keep a track of uh, all the data that we have already put in and then we, when we get we can uh, search for our key on that index right so first of all we'll have to implement the put function so if we go to our put function though uh, we'll not be needing this value anymore so the first thing that we need to do is uh, now we will have an array of nodes here not the integers and we'll initialize uh, with uh, the nodes and whenever we put our uh, put in our function the first thing that we want to do is first we want to check whether or not at that index whether or not there is a node present so what we can say is values first let's create a new node 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 is equal to index value okay oh sorry i wrote it uh, backwards values and the index so first of all we want to check whether or not on that index there is a node present so what we can say now is if node equal equal to null that means there is no node present at that uh, at the moment so that means we have not previously put any data on that index so we can just simply go ahead and say node is equal to new node and we can just provide it with our key and value and then save uh, values index is equal to node save that node on that index okay what if that is not the case? What if the node uh, is not null? What do we want to do then? Else. Then we want to see whether or not that, uh, how many, first of all, we'll have to go to the end of our, for example, now if I want to put 10 here, let me give another example to elaborate why we need to go to the end. I don't, I cannot just check whether this is uh, if this is empty, I, I, I point this node to a new node. No. First of all, I will have to go to the end of the no end of all the nodes that are present on this index and then make a new node here. Make a new node here. And then I'll add 10, 10 and make this one point to 10. Right? I have to go to the end node and then add a new node. So for that, we can just do this. We'll say while node dot next is not equal to null we can say node is equal to node dot next what this does is basically until we find a node that has that is pointing to nothing we we are going looping through all the nodes and when we find a, a node that has that is pointing to nothing what we can then do is uh, we can create a new node node new node is equal to new node with the, this key and value that we got from our put function and uh, say that this the previous node that we found that was pointing to nothing should now point to our new node so i will say node dot next is equal to new node right so this way we can now put uh, in our uh, hash table without removing the data that was already uh, on in there right so the next thing, the next thing, next thing that we want to do now is create our uh, get function. The get function will be similar. Whenever we try to get something, we first we will check whether or not. For example, if I write seventeen here, sorry, seventeen, I get nine. I put seventeen here. I get put 
17 here right so in this case what we are doing is uh, when we have if i am trying to uh, get the value uh, get the value that is that has a key as uh, 17 i can get this straight away but i if i i am trying to get 7 i'll have to first traverse through this linked list and find the node that has 7 as a key so first of all we will have to traverse through all the nodes and then find the node that we are uh, that we are interested in okay so let's go back and we will do the same thing node is equal to values index okay so we'll go to this uh, we'll see we'll go to the node that we uh, that is all uh, on that index that we got from our hash function and then we will loop through all the nodes node dot next is not equal to a is not equal to null and we will see whether or not we find uh, the node that has our key so if node dot uh, key is equal equal to the key that we provided if that is the case we will return the value that is present on that node okay uh, and one more thing so the, these this will loop through all the nodes but on the last node it will not go inside uh, this while loop so if the last node is what we are looking for uh, in this uh, code we will uh, get nothing back so we'll have to write uh, this outside our while loop just to be sure that we are checking the last node also and this will return the node if we uh, find that value and otherwise if we have looped through all the nodes and we don't find it anywhere we'll just say uh, return minus one okay so i think that should be it let's go back and try to test our uh, hash table now so i have we have already uh, from our last example we have one two and three put in it and we are trying to get one let's run and see whether or not it runs or we get uh, some error okay so we are getting one back right uh, we, we can see that we try to put two different keys that gave us same uh, indexes but we are still getting the one that we put earlier and if I try to put two here I should be getting two okay I forgot something it is going inside a uh, um, infinite loop let's go back to our hash table class and I forgot to do this of course we need to change our node to the next node otherwise it will just keep on running uh, forever this loop and now run it we get two if we try to get three we will get three and if we try to get something that we have not put in it for example 17 what we will get minus one we should get minus one uh, null pointer okay null pointer exception because uh, this node is provide because there is nothing here okay so what we can then do is ah uh, okay we can say if node equal equal to null we can just simply return minus one right away and let's try to run again we get minus one when we try to search some for something that uh, doesn't exist in our hash table we get minus one so what was happening right now is uh, because this there was nothing here uh, null because uh, at that index uh, initially it, it, there is nothing so this node is uh, at the moment null and when we are trying to check whether uh, it's next so it gave us the null pointer exception because first we have to initialize that this node and then we can try to like do our implementation on that so this is a one way you can get over the uh, collisions yeah, this is the one way to work around the collisions but there are all, uh, also a lot, a lot of others you can uh, read about them here another thing that you can do is uh, you can write a better hash function that gives you a unique index for every key obviously that it will not be the case uh, i don't think that is uh, easy to write <laughs> in here but you, we can obviously make something that gives at least unique keys for a uh, unique indexes for at least like 60% of the time or 80% uh, of the time but to 
understand what is uh, separate hashing this is i think more than enough for us uh, so this was the implementation of hash table or hash map you can say and you can try on your own uh, so this concludes our uh, video on data structure of hash map and the next time we will be doing something else so thank you for watching goodbye take care